Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if this is your first time here and today I'm coming at you in my new apartment, which is a little bit crazy to say. This isn't my official home yet. I will be back and forth from Toronto until things are official, inshallah, but we do have our place. And by the time you guys are seeing this, I'm not sure if I've started the whole moving vlogs and stuff yet, but um, I did wanna get this video up for you guys, so I'm excited. Um, today, I'm actually gonna be doing a foundation review and wear test as well, because I have some stuff to do later on tonight. And I thought that I would use it to my advantage and test this baby out. So this is the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Um, so if you guys are aware, Hourglass has a foundation stick, their Vanish foundation stick. And I actually was a huge fan of it. I really, really enjoyed it. This, I have seen a lot of mixed reviews, so I'm very curious to see how I like it. I just got the shade Golden Almond because that's what I am in the stick and that one matches me perfectly. So we shall see. Um, but on Sephora, this guy has like, three and a half, not even, like three and a quarter stars, which is pretty bad to be honest, but I don't know, maybe some people just had a bad experience. Who knows if I will. It says it's a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump, no primer needed. So the coverage is full and the finish is natural and I'm really excited to give it a try. So if you wanna see my review on the Fower Glass, <laughs> the Hourglass uh, Vanish Foundation, um, the liquid foundation, then just keep on watching. So I also forgot to mention the price, but it is $56 US, which means that it is way more in Canada, which is kind of crazy. I will put the Canadian price over here, um, but they say that you only need half a pump of this stuff instead of a full pump. So it's supposed to last like a really, really long time. So we will be the judge of that. This is what the swatch of golden almond looks like. Now I did get a tan over the weekend and this matched me when I was at home. So I don't know if it's gonna be a little too light for me, but just keep that in mind when I'm putting it on. This is a full pump. So I'm gonna see how far I can get with this and I'm not gonna be using any primer because it says no primer needed. Also actually, while I do this, um, I am filming on a new camera as well or a new lens, shall I say? So if the quality, if you guys are enjoying the quality, then let me know in the comments below because this lens was not inexpensive. It was very expensive actually. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys are seeing a difference. Uh, just off the bat before blending, I'm just gonna do half my face first so you guys can see, but the color looks pretty good. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender. It did come with a, um, a foundation brush, but I don't know, I just prefer beauty blenders. So that is blending out really, really nicely. And it's actually like, a perfect match. Definitely full coverage because I didn't really put a whole lot on and it's covering a lot, which is kind of impressive. For whatever reason, I thought this would be harder to blend out. I don't know what it is, but some full coverage, like super full coverage um, foundations can be kind of hard to blend in. This is blending really nicely. I'm also using natural light so you guys can see this is what my actual skin tone looks like. I also don't have anything set up in my apartment, so that's why I'm filming in my living room. <laughs> wow, I actually really, really like the finish of that. Like, I feel like it looks exactly like my skin, but better. Like, it's the same undertone and everything, it's just like more smooth. So you can see any of the discoloration of my skin is just smoothed out. And I really like the finish of that. All I had underneath was my moisturizer and I used the Lancome Absolute Moisturizer. I ended up using a full pump actually, even though it said you couldn't use half a pump. And I'm guessing that's probably because I'm using a beauty blender and a beauty blender usually shears things out a bit more and soaks up some extra product. So I feel like if you probably used a brush, you could actually get away with using half a pump. But I usually use like three or four pumps for my foundation. So even just having to use one is pretty great. This is what the foundation looks like with one layer. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit. Oops. So you guys can see. I really, really love the finish of it. It's like very, very 
natural like it does have that natural glow it's not too matte which i was worried about as well so i'm glad it is not um i do have a lot of texture around this area right now i don't know what it is but at least once a month for whatever reason i get a lot of texture around my chin and i think it's like milia or something just like i don't know maybe i was just like stressing my skin out i also was just very stressed <laughs> this month uh, so that might be it. So if you're seeing any texture over there, that is why it's not the foundation. Um, but it did go over that texture really nicely and kind of just smooth things out a bit more. So I really, really like it. Um, I am going to build the foundation up just slightly just to see how it layers. Probably like a quarter of a pump like that. And I feel like that's probably all I'll need. I'll do a little bit on my birthmark over there. And maybe a little bit on the nose. That actually covered my birthmark really, really well. Normally only concealers can do that. So that is very impressive. If you have a lot of like discoloration or any dark spots, sunspots on your skin that you want covered up, then this will definitely do that. I'm also actually gonna be trying out the new Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers because I got this right before I came to LA and I brought it with me to try out. So they have new, they have new shades. They have like four new shades. I have three over here. Did I bring the fourth one? I don't think I brought the fourth one, but um, it was a little bit lighter. So I have um, Endless Summer uh, Sculpting Bronzer, which I'm probably gonna use. It's the deepest one, I think. And then this is kind of like a, a glow powder and it's called Brazilian bronze. I've always wanted to try the butter bronzer so I'm really glad that they came out with dark ones because there's not a lot of dark bronzers at the drugstore, at least in Canada. Um, I know they have like the queen collection and stuff here in the US but not so much in Canada. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, come back for the bronzer and we will be done and see how this face looks. Okay y'all, I'm back and my face looks like a pancake, so I definitely need some bronzing. Um, these are the two bronzers if you guys want to see them up close. So this one over here on this side is called Endless Summer and this one is called Sculpting Bronzer. So you can see they look very, very similar. I feel like Endless Summer is just slightly more on the warm red tone and this is very neutral and slightly yellow as well. So, I don't know which one I want to use. I feel like I'm going to go in with Sculpting Bronze. But let's just kind of swatch them and see. I'll swatch them on my wrist. They swatch so nicely. There you can see the undertones a little bit better. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go in with Endless Summer. It's just slightly more on the warm side and that's just kind of what my face needs right now because she's looking flat. So yeah, this smells so good. It really does smell like summer. Wow, that like instantly chiseled out my cheekbone. Wow, that like instantly transformed my face. Like my cheekbones are popping now. <laughs> But it definitely warmed things up a bit and it has a stunning finish like it is like an airbrushed finish i am really really loving this bronzer i totally get the hype i'm also gonna take that down the sides of my nose for a little subtle contour and then for blush i'm actually going to use the same blush that i used on my eyes which is the makeup forever blush um I don't know the name of it, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. I'm going to kind of like a Galentine's Day themed event um, with a K-Beauty brand. Um, Kaja Beauty or Kaha Beauty, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But I know K-Beauty is all about this like matchy matchy eye and cheek thing. So I wanted to appeal to that. And then I'm just taking my Hourglass double sided brush and just toning that down slightly. I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and this isn't really to prolong the makeup. Um, I really just want the powders to settle since I put a lot of powders on top. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a spritz, not as much as I usually do though. That is all I'm gonna do. So 
I'm gonna find a lip color and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am completely done my makeup. I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes, if you guys are wondering. Um, but this is what my face is looking like. I think it looks pretty good. I normally wear the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation and I feel like that one has a little bit more of a natural glow to it. This one definitely dried down slightly more matte, but it's not uncomfortable. Like for it being super full coverage, I don't really feel it too much on my skin. Um, and I think it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks great on camera. It looks really great in person. So I'm gonna see how this lasts. I mean, by the time um, I finished doing my makeup, I've already had this on for like about an hour and a half now. So, so far so good, no creases or anything, but that could definitely change. So I am gonna give this guy a couple hours. Um, maybe I'll do a check-in before I leave for my event. Right now it is 4.56. I don't even think you'll be able to see that. It's 4.56 p.m. and I'm gonna be leaving around like seven. So I'll do a little check-in um, before I go to the event so that you guys can see what it looks like. But so far I'm really liking it. Really digging my makeup. And I will see you guys when I see ya. All right guys, so I'm here for my first check-in. I'm just in my bathroom. The lighting is actually pretty bomb here. So I'm very happy. This is what the foundation is looking like so far. And it doesn't even look like it has creased or cracked at all. Maybe just a slight bit around here. It feels really good on the face. Like, it doesn't feel any heavier or whatever. I don't know, it just looks really good. One sec, let me look super close to the mirror. Yeah, so I just looked into the mirror and I'm really liking how this is looking. So I'm basically gonna go to my event now. It's about 7 p.m., just letting you know. So I've had this on for roughly four hours now and we're good to go, but only time will tell. It is raining, a little bit humid outside, so that could potentially alter this foundation, but we shall see at the end of the night. I'm really glad that this lighting is really great though, so you guys can be able to see how the foundation looks at the very end of the night, right before I wash it off. So I'm gonna head to my event and then I will check back in at the end of the night. All right guys, so I'm back. It is the end of the night. Baby, what time is it? 10.41. It is 10.41 p.m., which means that I've had this foundation on for just under um, just under eight hours, I think. Uh, but I have given it a lot of wear. I went to the party and it was raining outside as well. Um, so some raindrops got on my face. I also went to sushi, so I was eating a little bit. And I'm just gonna see what my face looks like in the mirror. So I'm looking up close. There is a little bit of creasing, if you can see right over here, but not very much. Like not very much and I was like smiling, laughing, eating and stuff like that. So that is pretty impressive. Everywhere else honestly held up really well. It definitely is a slightly more matte, but as you can see, there's a little bit of, I wouldn't even call that an oil, just kind of like a dew, like a natural skin glow peeking through the foundation. Um, but even hubby was like, it looks like you just applied it. So that's always great. Um, honestly, I was really skeptical about this foundation just based on like everyone's reviews and stuff, but I really like it. It didn't smudge at all, like under here. And I was like eating my food, okay? I'll mess around with food, so it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Everyone on Instagram really loved it as well and my snaps and stuff. Did not give any flashback. It looked amazing in photos actually. I'll insert a photo right over here of me and Shaht at the event that we went to and there was flash used and there was no flashback. So I would give this foundation uh, my approval. However, I will say that it is very pricey. Um, I think it's around 68 Canadian and it's 50 something, 57, 56 US. Um, it's very pricey for a foundation, especially the average is usually around like 40, like maybe 50. So for it to be a lot more, I think kind of sucks. Um, but if you factor in the fact that you'll probably only need one pump for the whole face for it to be full coverage, which means like if you want less coverage, you'll need half a pump, then potentially it could last longer. So um, actually, let me just double check how many fluid ounces are in each bottle. And it says that it is 0.84 fluid ounces and 25 ml, which is oddly enough, it, that's less than normal foundation. In a regular foundation, you get about one fluid ounce or 30 ml. So in the end, like even though you're using less product, you're still getting less product in here. So if you are a fan of super full coverage foundations 
If you are a fan of luxury beauty, if you're a fan of Hourglass themselves, cruelty-free beauty, um, I think this might also be vegan as well, then you might want to give it a chance, but there's many other foundations on the market that are less expensive. So in the end, to each their own, but I would definitely give it my approval, um, but it's just expensive, so. Those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Let me know if you guys would like to see more foundation reviews. Um, I actually missed doing this and I had a lot of fun filming this video for you guys um, and just getting back into the swing of like makeup reviews and stuff. So I think I'm probably gonna film one more while I'm out here. I really wanna try the new L'Oreal foundation. So look out for that, um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so, so much. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the Aisha Haroon fam. I will love you forever. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone.